You know what? I'm going to read this next presentation if it's okay with y'all. This may take a second, but it's worth it. I promise it's worth it. Our next presentation is for a very special man in San Angelo, a man who all of us have um, enjoyed over the years and, and whom we all love very much. His name is Elmer Kelton. Novelist Elmer Kelton settled in San Angelo in 1949. A product of the West Texas Sand Hills, he was always keenly aware of the importance of water and its chronic shortage in this region. Kelton was an agricultural reporter by profession and penned more than 60 books in his spare time. His novel of the 1950s, The Time It Never Rained, <laughs> came to be considered the defin definite drought story. Fictional, but based entirely on fact. Whenever dry spells hit Texas, as they often have, the media sought him out for comment. Raised on a ranch near Crane, he remembered the oil boom days of his boyhood, when a barrel of water was literally worth more than a barrel of oil itself. In San Angelo, Kelton found an old oasis where the confluence of three rivers allowed the desert to bloom. Here he remained until his death in 2009. To those who sought his comments and counsel on water, he always cautioned against wasting that life-giving resource. Naming a water lily for a native son of dry West Texas might appear incongruous, but it makes sense on a deeper reflection. For all its dependence on water, the lily is no different from the rest of us. Elmer Kelton understood that. I want to tell you all that I was privileged to know Elmer Kelton. He was a friend of mine, and I could call him any time and just talk to him, and I love him, and I miss him, and I wish he was still here. But he's not here any longer unfortunately but thank god he left us his grandson my buddy shane kelton who is very influential in San Angelo. shane i'm going to give this to ken and let him give you this presentation well, I've, got a, I've got a lily here now now you guys i want to tell you something when we make a lily when i do one the pinks and the blues are pretty easy sometimes but you want a sunset color in a color that's a man color, that's not hard. That's kind of hard to do. But I worked on this, and I told Shane for years. Uh, he's head of our operations here in the city. And when we first started, I said, Shane, I'm gonna get a lily for your granddad. And he said, Well, okay. And then time went on and on and on. Well, we've got a sunset shade here that uh, indicates the West Texas sunset. Wow. And so we got a flower for finally. And I'm at, uh, Shane, I want to thank you. I want to thank Shane for a job well done in the city system and for uh, being the grandson of a great man, and as he is. Thank you. Thank you. Now, on behalf of, of myself and the rest of the Kelton family, we just want to thank Ken for, uh, I know, at least four years of, of dedicated work to try to put this lily together. He, he's been telling me about it for a long time, and and uh, the, uh, with my background, of course, I started in parks and, and me and Ken uh, actually were the ones that put the first two ponds on the sides over there together. So uh, I know all the work that goes into this and in and, and the four years of your life that dedicated this sure isn't lost on me. So Ken, I really appreciate it and thank you for everything you do for the city. As Shane mentioned, we built, uh, when we had the primary basin here, the next thing that we did in 2002 was build ponds two and five to make a cross before these other pools were built. Well, you know, we got together here and we built the thing like we wanted it done, and our pools didn't crack. <laughs> Some of the others did. But I want to thank Shane and the city system and Carl White, the people that when we started this, we put this together, it was a city effort, and the Parks Department built those two pools under his Mr. Uh, Kelton's direction and uh, the, the great pools and that's where we feature the, the Australians and when we do the tour we'll explain some of those lilies down there but anyway thank you Shane. Uh, thank you. Okay.